Hi everyone. What I'm attempting to do is show you how with a data set pasted or typed into Excel, how you can calculate or use Excel actually to do the hard work for you and calculate um, measures of central tendency and measures of variation um, with the sample data that I have here. So I've just typed in some random numbers to kind of show you how this would work. Um, we've got my, my um, small set of data, but again, you could use this with a large set of data. Notice that my data range is from A, I'm in column A here in Excel, A2 to A7. So when you look at my mean and look up here in my formula bar, I have equals average. So how you would calculate the mean with a particular set of data is with this formula. And again, you know, you can... Um, have any you know size data set but the point is you use this formula equals average and then in parentheses I list a2 to a7 my range of the data and so I click that and notice when I click up here in my formula bar it highlights the exact data set that I've got and when you click enter um, you've got a2 now for the median I use the formula equals median again in parentheses I've got the same range of data values so then I click return or enter and I get a median of 56.2 and again these are small I've got a small enough um, you know data set here that you certainly can check this with your calculator by you know with the mean adding all of these up and dividing by six um, median rank them in order from you know least to greatest and then find the middle values um, mode it, this one's really easy to see because you can look here and I have 56 listed twice no other number listed more than once so of course our mode would be in fact, 56, but I find that um, if I have a large set of data and I can't easily see it, then equals mode, and then in parentheses list the range. And then um, for the range of data, again with a small set of data, it may not be too hard to pick out your um, largest value or your smallest value, but if you do have 20, 30, 40 pieces of data or more, then it can be tricky to just eyeball it to find the range. So what I did here was use this two formulas actually. I took um, oops, and I've got an error there. It should be A2. So you can see I'm fixing this. I'm just typing in A2 to A7. And then same thing, so I want the max value from A2 to A7. And then I want the min value from A2 to A7. So you can see I'm just using my arrow key and typing in. When I get to the end, I click return. And so now when I click up in my formula, I'm taking the max value minus the minimum value. And that gives me my range of 37. And then my sample standard deviation, oops, again, that's, I was dragging down and messing around with this earlier, so that should also be from A2 to A7. So my sample standard deviation, um, and again, we use the sample because I just have sample data here, it's not population data, would be 13.7. And you know that the variance, right, um, our, our standard deviation is always a square root of the variance, so I just reversed it. And I, I squared the answer I got for standard deviation. So in this formula here, I said we'd go back to B13, which was my sample standard deviation, and raise it to the second power. That's my carrot 2 there. Hit enter or return, and we'll get a variance of 189. So that should give you a pretty good idea of how you can use Excel um, to calculate these various um, values in measures of central tendency, measures of variation. Hope this helped.